Thank you for that. <laughs> I'm here with Johannes Joubert, test pilots on this program. First of all, a great privilege to fly a new aircraft like that for the first time, a proper new, fresh design aircraft. And I must say, if you fly it without surprises, that's what we want as a test pilot initially. Uh, it handled very well, very stable, and in essence, literally no surprises. ILAC is a very unique aeroplane and uh, it's been designed for a specific niche. The aircraft's intended to be fully aerobatic, uh, fully maneuverable aeroplane. We haven't done that yet. This is the prototype. We're going to protect this aeroplane and uh, take it through its paces. And, and when we get to that point, I'm sure it's going to be fun. I'm here with Arve Ichikovitz, chairman of Paramount Group. What makes this aircraft unique is it truly is the first African designed, developed and conceived and produced aircraft. But the uniqueness is, is, is in the fact that it was developed for a market requirement. It, was it wasn't a technology project. It wasn't developed just because we could make an aircraft. It was designed because there was nothing in the world that, 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 that was able to be a platform for multiple mission systems. And a lot of the experience that Paramount's had um, in Africa over the last 20 years has educated the requirement. And we set out our, our, our minds and we, we tasked our team to go out and produce a platform that would meet specific mission and operational requirements and that's what ILAC is today. There is nothing else in the world that has this capability and I think that we've been able to prove that we can create an African product for the rest of the world. What about global perceptions of African aerospace products? So one of the challenges that we've had is that the African aerospace and defense industry has been to a large extent dormant over the last couple of years and as much as the capability exists there haven't been projects like ILAC that has been able to harness the skill and the capability and, I'm, and there were a lot of, of, of non-believers there were a lot of people who didn't believe that we would get this aircraft to fly not only do we have the skills to do it but we're doing stuff better than we've ever done it before so for me that this, this, is, this is really um, a, 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 a lighthouse project not just for the aerospace and defense industry but as an indication of what we can do on this continent. It was never designed solely for Africa and we're starting to have a huge amount of interest from, from the developed world as well as the developing world. Are you able to say at all where the government helped with funding and how much the project cost? So this project was 100% privately funded. Um, it's, uh, it, it, the project has cost hundreds of millions of rands. I'm, I'm not happy to disclose exactly how much. I'm sure many of our competitors would love to know what it cost to develop. But it cost us a lot less to develop in South Africa than it would have cost us if we were developing this, ping this in the United States or in Europe. You know, we have a can-do mentality in this country that allows us to innovate, not only in terms of production, but also in terms of the way we've designed this aircraft. And we've properly, properly stretched the envelope in terms of new concepts of design and development. But we haven't cut corners anywhere. The production methodology is world class, but we have certainly, certainly changed the way that aircraft will be designed and developed into the future. And skills develop in South Africa's skills capabilities to carry out projects like this. Are we, are we geared for it? Are we, is there a shortage of skills? Of course, if you look into the aerospace and defense industry, there is a tremendous skills shortage in the various fields of engineering, technicians and artisans. That's when Paramount decided to take the leap and fully fund the Abolak project to bring state-of-the-art innovation to the aerospace and defense industry to grow young talent. Giving a look at the Abolak team, you can see it's young engineers mentored by high-tech engineers in the industry within Aerosud and Paramount. You can also see being a woman CEO in the aerospace and defense industry. I'm so proud that we have women engineers in the ARLAC team. So it's a beautiful moment for me and other women in the aerospace industry that we are moving forward in developing skills in South Africa.